On Forest Brook Road, there's a sign at All American Storage that may catch your eye. Good luck, USA bobsled team. I mean, go Team USA, of course, but bobsled? In Myrtle Beach, South Carolina, where we get worked up when we get an inch of snow once in a blue moon? We are now in for our first snow accumulating at the Grand Strand for four years. Why? It's because John Del Duca runs the business and his nephew Frankie is a bobsledder on Team USA. I don't know if I'd know anything about bobsledding if it hadn't been for him, but once he jumped in, I jumped in. I was born in the South, so you would think I'd have no interest in doing a winter sport. This is when he was a rookie. Frankie lived this in Myrtle Beach for a brief time as a kid went. going to St. James Elementary School before moving to Maine. He's like 11 years old. He's living there one year. He's already doing this kind of stuff. Even though he hasn't lived in the area for a while, some of his family members who still oh, yeah, live down yeah, here, like his uncle John, <laughs> have kept him coming back almost every year. An athlete from the start, Frankie was always interested in sports, but he kind of stumbled into bobsledding when his track coach told him about it. He was talking about bobsled and, and how, you know, it's a form of racing and all that. So when he said you can go to a combine and they hold a combine much like the NFL, I was like, well, sweet. Yeah, it's great. I'll, I'll give it a shot and just see where it goes. That casual interest eventually turned into a dream to make the Olympics. And now that dream has become a reality. And through it all, Frankie says his uncle John has been one of his biggest fans. Hey, I'm surprised that all of Myrtle Beach hasn't heard because he, he's been pretty psyched about it for a while now. Very, very proud and, and there's no words for it. it, it it's, I'm kind of like in awe. <laughs> Bobsledding is no joke. Frankie can reach speeds in his sled more than twice as fast as the speed limit on Forest Brook Road. It gets kind of wild back there. Some of the fastest speeds we'll hit is 97 miles an hour. We're hitting five plus Gs in certain turns, and then you have all the vibrations and you're banging into walls and all that. So it's actually it's quite rough at times, but you know it adds to the excitement. And his training is heavy duty too. When he's not training on the bobsled track, he'll do sprints on the road or squats at the gym. One more! Go, Frankie! Frankie's dedication to his training is only matched by his uncle John's dedication to supporting Frankie. In addition to the sign, John made Team Del Duca shirts. He also wears this bobsled necklace that bobsledders from a different country gave Frankie, who then gave it to John. But you can see the four little men in there. The men's bobsled team isn't expected to win any medals in Beijing, but Frankie and John know anything can happen. We're not medal favorites, but we're not sitting here, you know, trying any less hard, you know. Ah, yeah. We're preparing every day to win. We would love to see a top 10, top 5, and the gold is, right now, everybody's got a shot at it. Otherwise, they wouldn't play them.